Activism has been creating progress since the beginning of human history. As technology progressed, strikes were reported on in newspapers, riots were televised, and news of every injustice spread internationally, all of it at our fingertips. However, this new ease of communication has been problematic. Our like or share on social media might feel good, but are we really making a difference? people sometimes want an immediate action to take. And sometimes that looks more like awareness than it does actual action. But unless that is rooted in community, then it means nothing. Many organizations around the Bay Area have been fighting to create change for decades. I am the operations lead here at Oker, which is an Oakland-based nonprofit. Uh, we are committed to creating capacity building opportunities to support the well-being uh, economic development and civic engagement of marginalized communities. I am the president of Students Organized Against Racism at Tamalpais High School. The purpose of this club was to raise awareness of racial discrimination. My name is Blair Mani. I use she, her pronouns. I'm an educator, an influencer, uh, and a retired organizer. Uh, I'm a founder of Cage Universal, known as kings and queens against genocidal environments. Also, California Prison Focus um, it started inside when I was inside the cage. I am a uh, prisoner artist. Access Reproductive Justice works to break down the barriers to accessing reproductive health care for individuals across California. Activism really means being able to self-advocate. The short term is act. We gotta, we, we, we act upon something that we see that's unjust. To, you know, fight for equity um, for the community that we serve. A lot of this important work is being undermined by the widespread use of social media. The goal was to post a black square and log off of social media to focus and meditate on racism. We already had the mechanism of awareness, which was George Floyd's murder. So what we ended up having with the black square was people were so preoccupied to indicate to others that they also were concerned about racism, that they were using the hashtag Black Lives Matter and drowning out that actual hashtag. The downside to it is that, of, especially with the Coney 2012 movement, is you got all these Twitter activists where I'm, I'm saying the right things online, but am I showing up in the real world? This movement was intended to protest a Ugandan warlord and involved international participation, but was too abstract to really accomplish anything. So we have to work in our context because if we don't work in our context, then we end up creating faraway solutions for faraway problems. There are so many posts and so many people going on and becoming like social media activists. Some of those people I had approached previously about joining SOAR. And they said, oh, thank you, but that's not really my thing. They all of a sudden became so vocal while it was like a trend. And then now I've seen that since it's kind of died down, so has their participation in it. They put on these facades or put on this image or whatnot. And then when you meet them in person, it's not really them. 53% of Americans say that they are involved in some sort of social media activism, whereas only 12% have said they have actually participated in a protest. Social media is different from quote unquote marketing. It requires engagement, it requires community. We need to sit down and start having conversations instead of passing by each other. You know, ask our neighbor, are you all right? You also need, okay, we've done the talking. What do we do next to make something happen? We should centralize our ideas. We should centralize our platforms. The promotion of even small little protests is great. Or, you know, your email network, posting a flyer on Instagram or Facebook or whatnot can, you know, bring a lot of change and you can reach a lot more people. Some small, more focused community protests in the Bay Area have been able to make a difference, unlike the larger, more general ones. Be curious ask questions, try not to make assumptions. Why is it like this? People really going into the communities, creating films or uh, documentaries or writing, you know, through the TAM news or other news platforms. And then also try to remember that you're always speaking to people. See if it's something that can be resolved um, privately versus publicly and do that research to make sure you're not just going with the flow, you're going with what makes your heart feel content that you're doing the right thing. When you're on social media, 
let's spread a little love, you know, and respect everybody's boundaries, everybody's ideas, and identify each other as humans.